walking is the best exercise ever. Hi, I'm Reggie from Reg Edit It, and thank you for joining my channel. This is a channel regarding care for the caregiver and most importantly, taking care of the caregiver's health and trying to get it to optimum levels so we can do our duties in taking care of a parent or a child or some other person in need of your services. I wanna talk about walking and fasting. I believe walking is the best exercise on the earth. Not only does it cover your physical health, it covers your spiritual health and your mental well-being all at the same time. I used to be that person that did high impact exercises for many, many years. I ran five to six miles, about 20 years to be exact, since the military. I was always competitive with myself to do better and to run further and to be faster at it. But if you think about it, your cortisol levels, which is your stress hormone, right? They go up and they are staying at that high level for as long as you're running, if you're doing any kind of high impact exercise. It's still a good thing to do that for a limited amount of time. With walking, you decrease, it is proven in many reports and uh, testing that when you're walking, you lower your cortisol level. So we're all about decreasing our stress, right? And as caregivers, as career people, we want to lower the stress level. So when you're running on a regular basis, you don't give yourself a break to break that cycle of the cortisol hormones going up. And when you have those levels rising, it really causes the belly fat. And when I ran for those 20 years and so, I always carried a belly, a pop belly, and I couldn't understand why. I may have kept the weight down. Yes, it's great for keeping the weight down, but you can't sustain it. And fasting does that. You sustain keeping your weight in check and losing the weight uh, initially, but also with walking in combination, lowering those stress hormones and flattening the belly, which was my main concern. And I'm sure that might be some of your guys' concern. So walking definitely helps this. And you might think, yeah, I gotta do 100 sit-ups a day, I gotta do a lot of crunches. Yeah, that's great to do, but that's not gonna take care of the belly fat if you're not working from internally outward. And fasting does that, and walking helps that as well. So what I do now when I'm walking, I go right outside and you can do this for free. You're not paying a gym membership. You're not uh, you know, forking out money to be in some position where you need to go to walk, <laughs> you know, and where you have to get in the car and drive to it. So I'm very lucky and blessed that I was able to just walk outside my home, even in the desert. We have a lot of heat, but I go early in the morning and I do a 90 minute walk. It usually comes out to about 10,000 steps. And when you're walking, you're not trying to do a lot of power walking, because again, you're increasing your cortisol levels, right? So you don't have to do a lot of that. You can just walk casually and, you know, walk swift enough that you're keeping a nice pace, but it's almost like you're casually checking out your surroundings, but you're still moving at a good pace. And as you see, I'm walking and uh, I'm not getting my cortisol levels up. I'm not getting my heart up to a point where I can't talk or uh, speak on the phone or something I might be doing on that walk. I do do, <laughs> listen to me, I do do now, also incorporated intervals. So those are short bursts of high impact runs, right? So you're just sprinting for like a minute to two minutes at a time and then continue walking. That in itself will give you just as much benefit and results that you would get if you were running for extended amount of time. A Little bit of intervals here or there of a little sprint, very helpful. 
you don't have to do this. I'm just sharing what my regimen is and that helps me to feel like I've had a full workout in the day. So the goal is to do at least 10 to 15,000 steps walking a day, no matter what. So remember, you don't have to always walk outside somewhere. If you need to go to a gym and get on a treadmill, that's just as good. It's just that, you know, I like to see the scenery out there. Uh, I'm uh, by mountains. Uh, it's very lovely to check out and it just calms down the nerves and anxiety that you may have throughout the day. And starting your day out right is what it's all about, right? We got it down now, so we lowering our stress levels, which is lowering the cortisol hormone, right? And this, if it was increased cortisol levels, you're increasing your insulin resistance, which what? That is what resists on losing the weight that you were trying to get off in the first place, right? So you might want to incorporate a little bit of walking there. And when you're fasting, especially if you're new to fasting and starting it, and you may feel a little bit weaker and you don't necessarily want to exercise right out the gate when you're fasting. So if I'm doing an extended fast, say it's 24 hours or 36 hours, uh, a lot of people just, just bow out of any kind of exercise, right? Because your energy is a little low. But nevertheless, when you're walking, you can do that and incorporate it while you're fasting. Not only does it keep you busy, it also makes you feel a lot better and it does give you a little bit more energy back so you can go through the rest of your day continuing that fast. The other thing, it does decrease your hunger. Now, when you're doing high impact exercise, you notice that you are extremely hungry. I want to eat carbs, right? And that's okay. You can carb load when you're doing a high impact exercise uh, and this helps basically burn off those carbs when you are burning the fat from the high impact of exercises. But when you're walking, I really believe that it will decrease that hunger and so you can extend your fast a lot longer. So the question of the day, what are the exercises that you do that you utilize to maintain your weight or to lose weight? Do you do the exercise and fasting together in combination like I do? And share that in the comments. This is why I say walking is the best exercise ever for all of your peace levels, your mental, your, your spiritual, and physical health. And don't let anyone take your peace away. Thanks for watching. Bye. And if you like the video, please do give me a thumbs up. It really helps this channel grow. So I appreciate you and I thank you so much for watching and don't forget, caregiving begins with you.